Merhabalar. Biz Varna Ekonomi Üniversitesi'nden a, beraberiz. Bu akşam sizin size bizim üniversiteyi tanıtacağız. Sanırım benim kamerada bir problem var. Şimdi arkadaşları ben tanıtayım. Benim sağ tarafımda birinci rektör yardımcısı, doçent doktor Radan Miryanov. Uluslararası ofisimizin başkanı. Onun yanında doçent doktor Vladimir Jechev, pazarlama bölümünün başkanı. Bir de en, sağ, en sol tarafta Evgeni Raychev, uluslararası bölümün başkanı. Kısaca biz Varna Ekonomi Üniversitesi olarak size üniversitemizi tanıtacağız. Bizim imkanlarımızı sunacağız. Sorularınızı açığız, bekliyoruz. Umarım herkes için güzel bir sunum olur. Şimdi size küçük bir video ile bizim üniversiteyi tanıtacağız. Ondan sonra bizim sunuma geçiyoruz. Arkadaşlar şimdi size videomuzu paylaşacak. Umarım beğenirsiniz. Sesi açabilir miyiz? Ee, videonun sesini alamıyoruz Selvit Hanım. Sonu ne kadar açık? Tamam şu an geliyor. Sağ olun videoyu izlediğiniz için. Şimdi küçük bir sunumumuz var. O İngilizce bir de Türkçe diye sunum olacak size. Arkadaşımız Evgeni size sunumu İngilizce olarak anlatacak. Ben de kısacası Türkçe özetleyeceğim. Hello, my name is Evgeny Raychev. I'm the head of international relations office at the University of Economics, Varna. First of all, welcome to our university, virtually, unfortunately. But we have prepared some materials for you. And uh, we start with a brief presentation of our university. Uh, as you can see who we are, we are University of Economics, Varna. Uh, Bulgaria. Uh, our university is the oldest university in the field of economics on the Balkans. It was founded a uh, century ago and we have trained more than uh, 155,000 of people. We'll be very glad if you have this opportunity to train you too. Where we are? We are in Varna. Bulgaria, Varna is the third largest city in Bulgaria and the largest uh, coastal city on the uh, Black Sea in Bulgaria. Kısacası biz Varna Ekonomik Üniversite olarak 100 yıllık bir üniversiteyiz. Balkanlardaki en eski ekonomi üniversitesi. 50'den fazla ülkeden uh, yabancı uyruklu olmak üzere öğrencilerimiz var. 155 binin üzerinde 
mezun olan öğrencimiz var. Değişik alanlarda programlar sunuyoruz. Bizim üniversitede şu an 8000'den fazla öğrenci var ve değişik Öğren, öğretim programlarını arkadaşlarımız sunacak. Biz Varna'da bulunuyoruz. Varna Bulgaristan'ın üçüncü en büyük şehri olarak diye geçiyor. 6000 sene öncesi kurulmuş Odessus adında. Eski tarihi bir şehirdir. Thank you very much. So that, uh, as Elvet mentioned, Varna is uh, one very very ancient and modern city that uh, combines uh, Uh, the history, uh, archaeological sightseeing, and uh, modern vision for for the future. It was uh, established uh, more than six thousand years ago under the name of uh, uh, Odysseus, and we uh, have population that uh, reached about uh, four hundred thousand of people very it's very interesting about our city that uh, we have uh, more than 270 sunny days a year and Varna has been always has been a junction for many cultures for many peoples uh, for many uh, religions and so on bizim Varna şehrimizin bir sürü uh, güneşli günleri var. 395 bin nüfusu vardır. Bizim Varna'da değişik imkanlarımız var. Umarım herkes beğenir onu. Okay, we start with our uh, facilities. We have three buildings uh, located in the city. We are in now in the main building that is uh, situated in uh, in the center of the city, near to the sea. Uh, we have more than 8,000 students each year coming to study at our university. Uh, Varna U University of Economics is one of those that have more than 200 uh, university partners uh, across the world. And we offer uh, three uh, languages uh, as for studying English, Russian and Bulgarian language. Bizim üniversitemiz 3 kampüsten oluşuyor. Üç kampüsten oluşuyor. Üç tane ana binamız var. Şu an biz ana binada bulunuyoruz. Yukarıda solda gördüğünüz resimdeki bina. 8 binden fazla öğrencimiz var. Bulgaristan'dan ve bir de yurt dışından 230 partner üniversitemiz var. Ondan ayrı üç değişik dilde akademik uh, programlarımız var. Bulgarca, uh, İngilizce, Rusça. Onları biraz sonraki slaytlarda size tanıtacağız. Okay, we offer 27 bachelor degree programs in uh, divided in four professional fields. As I mentioned, three Uh, languages English, Russian, and Bulgarian. In uh, English, uh, most foreign students coming to study at our university prefer, rather prefer studying in English language. So we pre uh, we have prepared and offered three programs in English language: international business, business and management, and accounting. In Russian language. We offer international tourism. In Bulgarian language, we offer other 24 uh, bachelor programs. And if you visit our website, you can see them. Uh, slide'da da gördüğünüz gibi bizim 27 tane lisans programımız var. Bizim uh, lisans programlarımız 4 tane uh, profesyonel yönde. Uh, profesyonel yönlerimiz ekonomi, idarecilik ve yönetim, turizm ve bilişim, uh, bilişim ve bilgisayar bilimleri. Onlardan 20 tane akredite lisans derecesi programları sunmaktayız. Yüksek lisans derecesi ya da ya diğer adıyla master programı 26 program sunuyoruz. 
Bir de eğitim üç değişik biçimde ger gerçekleşebilir. Tam zamanlı, düzenli, elektronik ve normal modülleri dahil ve ya veya yarı zamanlı ve mesafeden eğitim olabilir Varna Ekonomi Üniversitesi'nde. Ondan ayrı 16 doktora programımız var. Onları arkadaşımız size biraz sonra da tanıtacak. İki tane profesyonel lisans derecesi programımız var. Turizm Koleji'nde. Ondan ayrı üç dilde akademik programlarımız mevcuttur. Size bahsettiğimiz için Bulgarca, İngilizce ve Rusça. Çift diploma lisans programlarımız da var. Onları size Evgen'i biraz önce belirttiği gibi görebilirsiniz. Uluslararası işletme Worms Üniversitesi'nde, Sayonaki Üniversitesi'nde, bir de ah, Rusya'da bulunan Plekhanov Üniversitesi'nde double degree programımız var. Yani çift diploma programımız mevcuttur. Okay, we have uh, 26 master degree programs in two languages, English and Bulgaria. In English, uh, most popular uh, major uh, for foreign students and most interesting found is uh, computer science and international business and management, of course. More than 16, we have uh, written down 16, but we are working on more PhD programs. By now, they are 16. Two professional uh, Bachelor degree programs in the College of Tourism that are provided in Bulgarian language. Of course, for those who uh, would like to apply to our university to study in English language or in Bulgarian, they have to possess um, the necessary uh, certificate. Of course, if they don't possess this such certificates uh, internationally recognized, they can sit an exam at our university. What we offer in the field of Erasmus Post program? As you know, Erasmus Post program is the most popular program set by the European Commission and European Union as well. It offers opportunities for all students to uh, go abroad for studying and uh, having their internship and practice. Uh, all these uh, mobilities are paid by the European Union. Maybe Associate Professor Zhechev would like to add something to that. Um, apart from the Erasmus Plus program, if you would cordially switch to the uh, previous slide when we discussed the Double degree programs, Evgeny. Would you do me a favor, switching back the slides? Ah, yeah, okay. I would like to underline a few things here. Um, only until recently, we didn't have any. Uh, we haven't had any double degree program with uh, Russian University. We are very proud that since 2019, we are having a double degree program with Plekhanov. Russian University of Economics, which is, according to international rankings, the third institution in the Russian Federation, according to um, quality of education. Um, we are also partnering with Nottingham Business School, which has been named um, one of the best business schools in Europe, according to Financial Times. And if we have to be more specific, they are in the top 100 best business schools, according to that ranking. And um, speaking of the Erasmus Plus program, um, I would like to just quickly give you a flavor of what you can do during your four year stay with us. Um, and we really want our students to make it an exciting journey, their higher education with us. Um, Erasmus Plus program funds training and studies of students abroad. So our students are given the opportunity to spend two semesters with a partner institution. And as Evgeny explained, we have 200 plus partners across the world. So you have an opportunity to uh, be abroad 
at, at least twice, or oh, the maximum twice during your studies and twice for the purposes of having your internship or having a practice abroad. Apart from this, to make it a truly international experience, you can also join one of our double degree programs and spend another semester with one of our partners and get a double degree. Um, something that um, wraps it all up, Varna, apart from being a junction for many cultures, is also a huge business hub. Um, many international companies have their offices and subsidiaries in Varna. So we have multiple opportunities that we provide for our students to have their, uh, to combine and blend their education with real practical experience. And we have visits from businesses and we arrange business visits to our partners. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you to Associate Professor Zhichev. Uh, you can see more details about uh, Mobility Center Erasmus Post program. All students that go abroad for studying or having uh, their practices and uh, internship abroad, they receive a, month, uh, a grant. Uh, it depends on the country they have chosen, but the minimum of the grant starts from uh, 470 euro per month and going to 700 euros a month. Uh, students, they don't need to pay anything to the, the university they have chosen to go. They only have to pay their tuition fee at our university. They can spend more than one semester. They can choose for for a year to study abroad. Of course, they can go for a joint double degree program if they uh, enlist in international business. A bachelor program, the third year, they can spend in Worms, uh, Germany, or Siena Yoki, Finland to get double degree a diploma. It means that they will have a diploma, a bachelor diploma from our university and from the German and uh, Relevantly from the Finnish university. Uh, their stay at uh, our partner university will be paid by under uh, uh, by Erasmus Plus program. What about the accommodation? Accommodation is very important. Okay. It's very important for all foreign students. Uh, we we help all our incoming students uh, to get uh, apartment or flat or room where to stay at very good price. We work with uh, very uh, popular and uh, very stable companies and firms that uh, are in charge with uh, finding a place where our students to live. Uh, something in addition, uh, the living costs in uh, Bulgaria are very, very affordable. Uh, besides the fact that Bulgaria is uh, the cheapest country in the European Union, the, li the life in Varna is not ex as expensive as in many uh, other countries. So it depends, of course, on the habits and uh, people's views. Three, 350 euros are pretty enough for, for living in, in Varna. What about the free time? Uh, we have one of the most modern library, university libraries in Bulgaria. Uh, we have uh, digitalized books and journals. Uh, they are accessible online. We have a bookshop. Uh, reading rooms, of course, seating rooms, computer stations, and uh, totally uh, the total amount of over 350,000 of books. Mm -hmm. 
the sport is very popular to our universe as yes, we have one of the best basketball teams university teams in bulgaria we have a basketball court uh, volleyball court of course uh, gymnastic courts uh, table tennis rooms and of course a gym which is uh, very very modern indeed of course uh, using of uh, our uh, sport uh, facilities are for free for all our students what about the tuition fees is one of the most interesting questions the tuition fees in Bulgaria are the uh, very very affordable and uh, for students coming from Turkey and from other countries outside the European Union the semester of fee is 1,250 1, euros as I said this is a uh, semester uh, annual fee is 2,500 euros for uh, sitting an exam in English or Bulgarian at our university there is a fee that's about uh, 180 euros for master degree the tuition fee is 1,500 uh, semester for those who would like to uh, do their doctoral degree uh, the price is 3,500 3, euros a year very very affordable prices indeed the intake for bachelor degree programs uh, starts in May and lasts till the end of September it means that all the documents must be sent to the Ministry for Evaluation till 30th of September. For master degree programs, the, the deadline is uh, uh, by the end of October. What is the admission criteria? Uh, we have simplified the admission criteria, so we only examine the mathematics mark and uh, the mark of one optional subject. Uh, from the secondary school diploma what are the documents needed we need secondary school diploma diploma supplement medical reference an official document issued by a created body certifying that the applicant has the right to study uh, in higher institutional in uh, education in uh, Turkey copy of the passport or ID application form filled in educational agreement that you can uh, sign it here at place six passport photos and CV of course if you uh, rather prefer not sending us um, the originals you can make uh, notary certified copies in Turkey and to send the the, uh, the notary certified copies to us they replace the originals these are our contacts of course you are going to spread our presentation with you after this uh, event so you can call us or write us at any time we strive to answer all our emails and incoming calls uh, as soon as possible it means that on the same day we uh, just uh, sent uh, by a feedback response arkadaşlar şimdi size bizim üniversite öğrencimiz olan Melis Yusuf'un videosunu sunmak istiyoruz. Ondan sonra eğer sizin için de bir sakıncası yoksa soruları geçebiliriz. Çok teşekkür ederim. Bir sürü, bir sürü sorunuz var. Onları da tek tek herkese cevap vermeye çalışacağız. Burça Hanım yardımcı olabilirseniz. Tabii paylaşıyorum ona. Ne parayım ne iştiyorsunuz? Merhaba 
Park. Ben Melis Yusuf. Ben de Ekonomi Üniversitesi 4. sınıf öğrencisiyim. Videoda bir sorun oluştu. Tekrar bir deneyeceğim. Ben Ekonomi Üniversitesi 4. sınıf öğrencisiyim. Bu sene bu üniversitedeki son yılım ama bir, birinci seneye dönme şansım olsa yine bu üniversiteyi seçerdim. Bundan kastım sadece eğitimin çok üst seviyede olması ve öğretmenlerimizin çok iyi olması, üniversitemizin çok güzel olmasından daha fazla bir şeyden bahsediyorum. Üniversite öğrencilerine part-time işler sunuyor. Mesela ben ilk senemde üniversitenin kütüphanesinde çalışma fırsatı buldum bir yıl boyunca. Ve bu bana çok şey kattı. Çok fazla insanla tanışma fırsatım oldu. Ve ilk seyahatimi ben e, o kütüphanede çalışırken yaptım. Belçika'ya bir tane seminara katılmıştık. Ve e, gerçekten üniversite çok fazla fırsatlar sunuyor. Yurt dışında eğitim görme fırsatını da üniversite ve Erasmus Plus Değişim Programı sayesinde buldum. Binlerce yüzlerce kişiyle tanıştım. İki dönem Erasmus yaptım ve e, bu bana çok şey kattı. E, eğitimin başka üniversitelerde ne, ne seviyede olduğunu gördüm. Ve e, yeni kültürler tanıdım, yeni şehirler tanıdım. Gerçekten çok güzel bir deneyim oldu benim için ve dördüncü yıl sonunda ben başka bir insan olarak üniversiteden çıkacağıma eminim ve gerçekten ilk seneme dönme şansım olsa yine var ne? Videoda takılma oluyor. Bir saniye. İsterseniz biz linki paylaşalım. İsteyen artık izleyebilir. Madem sorun var videoda. Evet videoda bir takımı oluyor ikidir. Ee, üst kısmında link vardı. Ben tekrar chat tarafta paylaşıyorum onu. Tamam. Onu bir paylaşsanız artık. Eğer sizin için de bir sorun olmazsa soruların cevapla, cevaplama kısmına geçmek istiyoruz. Ne dersiniz Burcu Hanım? Tabii ki nasıl arzu ederseniz. Ee, tamam. Veya en aşağıdan yukarıya doğru başlayalım. En aşağıdan yukarıya doğru başlıyoruz. Teşekkür Arkadaşlar birer birer yanıtla, yanıtlamaya başlayacak şimdi. Okay, we are going now to answer your questions. Do you have any do degree programs with Turkish universities? Uh, so far, we don't have uh, uh, double degree programs with Turkish universities, but we have uh, more than 18, maybe two, about 20 uh, Turkish universities uh, partners uh, in Erasmus Plus program. And uh, many of our students uh, prefer going to, to Turkey if they come from Turkey, they rather prefer going to Turkey for Erasmus Plus program because they go to their homes, they study at a local university for a semester or for a year, and they are granted for this study. So it's uh, it's very good for for for these people that uh, prefer that. Uh, so. We are working on double degree programs with uh, some Turkish universities, but um, as you know, the, uh, it takes time uh, because there are many procedures uh, um, about uh, 
doing uh, double degree programs uh, between a country in the European Union and country outside the European Union uh, because um, the, the things uh, must be coordinated by both uh, ministries of education but we haven't given up so we work in in this field okay do you have any double degree programs with american universities uh, so far we don't have uh, uh, such a double degree program with american university we had a proposal but according to these uh, procedures i mentioned it's a uh, very difficult um, to be done immediately such a program but uh, we went it in negotiations with one university in portland usa do you have any representatives in turkey no we don't have and i'm going to tell you why because uh, we don't work with agent uh, companies uh, or recruiting uh, uh, recruiting st uh, students because uh, they ask uh, for commissions uh, taken by by the students uh, the students uh, and the applicants have the opportunity to send us directly their documents uh, first they send um, the documents scanned uh, via email to us we examine the documents very quickly in 10-15 minutes because as i told you uh, we examine only uh, the mark in mathematics and one optional subject and they have to be 62 percent minimum so we examine two uh two marks and after that we give instructions to students directly how to proceed from then on so we don't uh, work with recruiting uh, agencies uh, we have had many proposals from recruiting uh, agencies but there is no point uh, students and applicants pay commissions when they can contact us directly at any time uh, how many turkish students we have uh, in total okay uh, 10 years ago we had a lot of turkish students but because of uh, some issues that uh, happened lately uh, we have uh, a small number of uh, Turkish students uh, no more than uh, 20 uh, but all of them are very classy so uh, we uh, believe in quality not in quantity uh, many of them uh, went to double uh, degree program in Germany uh, with uh, university in Worms University of Applied Sciences. Uh, do we have intensive English programs? Uh, what does it mean, intensive English programs? Uh, the bachelor degree takes uh, four years according to Bologna system. Uh, so there is uh, no point for intensive English programs. Uh, if you mean intensive English uh, course, pre uh, preparatory course, uh, it can be intensive because according to the Bulgarian legislation the course um, it uh, is taken about uh, nine months it takes nine months because you have to pass all the requirements for getting a certificate this is for English and this is for Bulgarian language is the same do you have any Turkish faculty members what does it mean faculty members uh, staff academic staff. Uh, academic staff we have uh, academic staff that speaks turkish and uh, they come from they are from turkish origin for example our beloved colleague Silvet niazieva uh, maybe you know but uh, 15 percent of the population of bulgaria are uh, with turkish uh, origin and i'm happy to announce but i'm sure you know that uh, we are one of the best examples in the world where people live together uh, happily. Do you have any American faculty members? No, we don't have American faculty members. Uh, in fact, we had proposals from some British and American faculty members, but there is something that... Uh, um, however, we do have members of faculty who teach in the US or who have taught lectures in the US maybe more than five universities in the United States. 
And uh, furthermore, uh, under Erasmus Post program, uh, faculty members from uh, all the countries in Europe uh, come and deliver lectures here. We had, for example, a lecture from Australia, from Taiwan, uh, from India. Uh, so. Varna is uh, <laughs> Varna is a very modern city, and uh, there are a lot of nightclubs uh, and cultural diversity. Okay, uh, some brief history. In the beginning of 20th century, uh, Varna was one of uh, the few towns and cities in uh, whole Europe where all the cultures lived together. There were 13 religious groups in, in Varna with 13 religious temples in Varna. So Varna is a very tolerant city and uh, Varna uh, has been, always, always has been uh, a host for, for many cultures. So you can see here people from all over the world. For example, we have applicants from Bangladesh from India, uh, from Algeria, uh, from Peru, from Brazil, from Burundi, Africa. We have students. So we have students from uh, Russia, Ukraine, Armenia, Kazakhstan. So from all over the world, Azerbaijan, and so on. Uh, do you have any academic cooperation or partnership with Turkish and American universities? With Turkish universities, yes. With American universities, uh, we are about to have, um, I believe, um, within short time, we will have with American universities. We have, for example, uh, such an agreement with the uh, University of Montevideo uh, in Uruguay is one of the top rated universities in whole Latin America, by the way. Next one, uh, I already have two years associate degree. How can I check it? University can accept my credits. Okay, first of all, you can scan your documents you uh, you already have and to send us uh, your documents for examination if they are in English of course if they are in Turkish we will ask our colleague Sylvet to translate uh, the document in uh, Bulgarian or in English language so that uh, we can understand uh, what you have passed already and um, just to give you the best instructions how to move to our university Do you have any student dorms within the campus? Uh, in fact, we have dorms, but according to the Bulgarian legislation, uh, Bulgarian people living outside of uh, Bulgaria, uh, so-called diaspora, they are accommodated firstly. After that, people with disabilities, orphans, semi-orphans are accommodated. And after that, Bulgarians, and after that, people uh, outside uh, European uh, Union countries. However, but... Uh, what is good? Uh, good is, uh, so I don't believe there will be uh, empty places, empty beds for uh, for uh, people coming from outside uh, European Union country. But uh, the good practice we have is that uh, we work with, uh, rental, com uh, with rental companies, uh, <clears throat> with companies that accommodate people at a very good price. So, the price you will pay for dormitory or for uh, having a flat uh, in the rent is almost the same. So this is um, there isn't a big difference between the accommodation in dormitory or in flats. Um, we are talking about flats, rooms uh, around the university. So uh, you can reach the university in ten. Uh, 15 maximum minutes um, on foot. Okay. 
Do we need a level of Bulgarian language uh, besides English language? No. If you speak English very good and you have a certificate or you don't have a certificate but you know that you can uh, speak and you can pass the exam, you just sit an exam. The exam is three component. Uh, what does it mean? A little test. Uh, after that you have an um, essay and um, talk. Uh, to the commission, so you don't uh, have to speak any any Bulgarian language. Uh, in fact, uh, you have uh, Bulgarian language as an optional uh, subject, optional discipline uh, from first course, but you don't you don't have to speak Bulgarian language. Of course, if you would like uh, to enroll in Bulgarian language uh, major. You have to take an uh, exam if you speak Bulgarian language or if you don't speak Bulgarian language to uh, take a pre uh, preparatory uh, course in Bulgarian language. Okay. And I think I can answer the next question from Ani Burak. As far as I see, what makes Bulgaria's higher education special? Uh, we believe it's special and we believe it's very good and especially for students coming from Turkey we may say it's special because uh, it's a very good education from uh, an European country, a country from the European Union. Yes, yes. and uh, you, you, have, you will have a diploma which uh, gives you big opportunities as a, as a diploma from higher education institution from European Union. Okay, next question is by Mr. Ashraf, I think. No. Uh, or, no, uh, no, Do you have yok? Ah, very good question, very interesting question. Okay, we have checked out. We have, we are recognized in uh, Republic of Turkey. This is for sure. We are waiting for the certificate because we asked Yoka for a certificate so we are waiting for it and we are recognized this is for sure uh, this is one of the things we firstly did was uh, Yok. just to confirm uh, we knew of course that we are recognized by Yok, but just in case uh, we wanted to check it out and we did it so we have Yok. we are on, uh, recognized by Yok. Okay, then click, ah, okay. And Mr. Ashraf, uh, I can't understand the question after 10, two. Can you help me with that? 10 plus two, yes, uh, secondary school education, I believe, uh, for Mr. Ashraf, yes. Uh, if you have, if you possess a uh, secondary school diploma, <clears throat> you can enroll directly to bachelor degree. But of course, we have to see the documents because we have, uh, we are very experienced with uh, uh, students and applicants coming from Pakistan. For example, three years ago, we had more than 300 uh, applicants from upper Pakistan. A uh, very good question is uh, Lutfi, I think. Uh, can I move from uh, Turkish University to our university? Yes, in fact, you can do it, but there is a procedure for recognition of your education. So, Lutfi, uh, so we will need um, <coughs> your documents, uh, academic transcripts, just to, uh, to examine them and uh, to see how we could uh, how can we proceed further? Uh, this is a very good question. If you are now in third year, it will be very, very difficult, but not impossible. We have to check out your documents, to examine them, to, to see what are the opportunities. Anyway, when you uh, move from one university to another university, according to the procedures in Bulgaria, uh, we'll need your secondary school uh, diploma uh, and so on. 
but they are uh, new procedures, so we have to see the documents. You need to have a certificate for proof of language level. And this is the answer. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Are there other questions? Okay, the Turkish Lira is uh, uh, 21 to think is 20, 1 to 5. One left is rated for 5 Turkish Lira. About 4 or 5. 4 or 5. Okay, uh, Hesna, I think. Uh, some more details about the medical reference. Okay, the medical reference, uh, usual reference, uh, you go to any random clinic and you ask for a medical reference. Uh, for example, you apply to for a job in Turkey. Uh, I believe uh, they ask you for, for medical reference. It's... Uh, just uh, that you are, it must be stated that you are clinical, clinically healthy and uh, you can study and that's it. There's, there aren't many examinations, by the way, this is a very good question because many people ask us. There, are, uh, there aren't any additional requirements, for example, to have uh, such examinations about uh, malaria diseases and so on and so on. It's very casual medical reference. Do you have uh, scholarships? No, we don't uh, offer scholarships uh, uh, set by the by the university, and uh, th this is the reason uh, we work more with the Erasmus Plus program, where you have a scholarship. If you decide to go abroad for studying or for internship, you have you will be granted. How is the coronavirus pandemic situation? Okay, uh, coronavirus, maybe Associate Professor uh, Miralov will answer this question. Well, what, what can I say? It's, it's dynamic. Uh, these days uh, we have slightly bigger values as percentage, maybe approximately around 10% from, from all the, all the, the, the examined are positive. But it's it's too dynamic, and I th I think it's it's very close to the situation in in other European countries. Yeah, in fact, some measures were released, uh, so the masks are uh, they are must in in the buildings or in institutions, but outside in parks or on the streets, uh, uh, people are not uh, obliged to wear masks. And additionally, it has been very quiet lately. Although we have witnessed some slight increase in the number of coronavirus discovered cases for the last 24 hours, and I did just checked that, it, we have 83 cases, which is around 7% of all tested people. Unlike many other countries like Germany, like Italy, like Austria, even the UK and Ireland, we have a lot less cases in terms of numbers so it's quite the study here and at the moment however some of our students cannot go and travel abroad because of some restrictions bulgaria hasn't yet imposed any restrictions for visits from turkey thank you okay we continue with uh, the rest questions uh, what is the tuition fee for dual degree programs uh, the tuition fee is uh, as I told you, uh, 1,250 euro. Uh, you pay at our university the tuition fee. When you go for double degree program in uh, Finland or Germany or Russia, you don't pay anything there. You only pay here. So you are lucky because uh, you pay uh, less money here because uh, our tuition fees are very, very... Uh, affordable yes online programs uh, so far we don't have online programs traditionally Bulgarian educational system offers uh, 
studying at place. So we don't offer online programs. But we but have our uh, platform for online and distance learning in which we have over, I would guess, around 2,000 courses. And we are ready to start with online delivery of our courses in case the situation does not permit the contact hours. Actually, at the present moment, any groups of students which exceeds the number of 50 does it in a blended, in a mixed way, as it is called in this uh, question of uh, what was the name again? How do I read this? Ninja T. Uh, from Pakistan, we uh, have had uh, a lot of students. Uh, lately, we don't have uh, so much students, about uh, a few. And to some of them, they uh, graduated uh, already. Uh, I don't know um, why it's like that. Uh, as I told you, we had more than 300 uh, inquiries from Pakistan. Uh, but uh, people uh, started um, giving up uh, with uh, the application procedures. Uh, we have um, a lot of documents, originals, uh, in fact, at our at our office. And um, I'm not so sure how to answer this question, but there are a few from Pakistan and from Afghanistan. We had from Afghanistan too. Uh, do we? Okay, you don't have any work permission to to work at our in our country. If you come to study, according to the laws, you only can work four hours a day, not a full uh, full working time, but four hours a day. During summer season is the same. During vacation is four hours uh, a day. Uh, this is because all students coming from uh, countries, this is according to the laws, of course, uh, all students coming from uh, outside European Union countries, um, they have to be enrolled uh, as regular students, uh, not uh, uh, part-time or uh, from uh, students uh, studying from distance or online studying, but only in uh, uh, only at place so you can you can work of course uh, we have um, most of our students they work here in fact uh, yeah so they just reminded me that um, people can uh, can work part-time at our university we have one of the most developed career center uh, in our university. Not many universities can uh, can say that they have a uh, developed career center. We have a career center. Uh, they have more than 1,600 uh, partner companies. And they work with uh, thousands of companies. Um, and something in addition, they offer for free, of course, uh, orientation for students uh, where to to develop themselves. Uh, I said for free, yes, consultations for students. Uh, and um, looking for places where where they can find jobs. So this is this is very useful. Usually in uh, in uh, other universities in Europe, uh, these consultations are paid, but here they are for free. Uh, you can do internships uh, abroad in Turkey. For example, you come to Bulgaria at our university to study and you decide to go in summer to study uh, to do your internship in Turkish company in Turkey. Yes, you are paid for that. You get five, six hundred euros uh, on the Erasmus Plus program. Of course, the companies, they uh, always offer something in addition uh, from themselves. Uh, 
Nejati, I think. I have been in Varna at least four times. And you haven't come to us? <laughs> okay, next time just come. It's a very good location for Turkish students. Thank you very much, Nejati. It, it's true indeed. Next. Okay. Of my master degree, is it possible? Okay, uh, Adam, I'm in the first semester. Can I read? Uh, thank you. And of my master's degree, is it possible to transfer to University of Economics? If yes, what we, what are the requirements? Is the same thing. We have to know which university uh, you study at uh, now. Uh, how many years is your program in the, uh, your master degree program in Turkey? And uh, what what's your bachelor degree? Uh, we need uh, more details, more information, just to give you uh, the best solution in this situation. Of course, you can scan your document to send to us your documents so that we examine them uh, as soon as possible. And uh, we can tell you within a couple of days uh, how do we see the things. What's the email contact or information of the speakers and their titles okay you can uh, see them yes we you we are going to send you the presentation and um, on the last page there is a contact uh, by by phone and via email so you can call us or send us an email and Yes, once again, my name is Radan Mirjanov. I'm the vice rector for the internationalization of the university. So my contacts will also be included in the presentation, I'm, I'm sure. So we are easily accessible, so you, you can find us. And let's, uh, I introduce myself. My name is Selvet Niazieva. I was a PhD student here uh, and now I'm working at the research institute at the University of Varna. So you can access me at any time. Thank you. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Evgeny Raichev. I'm the head of the International Relations Office. I'm a PhD researcher too like my colleague Sylvette. <laughs> so uh, we are blessed to have this uh, this meeting with you virtually but and uh, Nijati, thanks it was a great presentation thanks Nijati. <laughs> uh, from depths of my heart thank you what is the deadline for a registered master degree when we will start and end can you explain the deadline? Okay, the deadline for master degree. I'm gonna repeat you again. Um, the submitting of documents starts in May. We are talking about uh, when I tell you about the uh, deadlines. I mean the deadline set by the Ministry of Education in Bulgaria. Uh, so the deadline for bachelor degree starts. The session is uh, the submission of documents is open in May, at uh, around the, the end of May till September. 30th of September for sure. The master degree programs uh, uh, submission of documents starts in May at the same time, but ends a little bit later than uh, the bachelor degree. About the end of uh, October, of the beginning of November. Each year, um, the government decides uh, what would be the deadline. So the deadline now is still the, the end of October. But there is an option, uh, if you uh, prefer to uh, have a, a computer science uh, master degree program, uh, the session is still open till February, because February starts uh, this program. But if you prefer international business and management in English for master degree program or Bulgarian programs, we have to follow the deadline by the end of October. Okay. Uh, the initial tuition fee. What does it mean, the initial tuition fee? Uh, okay. Uh, initial fee, it means the semester. 
we have a uh, bachelor degree program, eight semesters. So a semester of fee is uh, 1,250 euro. A initial fee, there is an official um, a initial fee. Uh, when you enroll at our university, we will ask you for 30 euro, 30 euro. This is the administration fee and that's it, and semestral fee. We don't collect any other fees. Uh, so, if you, uh, most universities, I know that they uh, rather prefer uh, receiving initial fees for uh, examination of the documents. We don't practice this. We have an uh, initial fee, but when you enroll, when we are sure you got visa, for studying at our university, when you come to our university, then. And something very important is not necessary you pay your semester in advance for getting visa. It's not necessary. You can do it, but you, do, uh, you are allowed not to do it. It depends on you. Many people, they think when they, if they pay, a semester of fee, one semester fee, they will get visa. It's not like that. Uh, the examination of the documents of uh, visa are uh, examined by the foreign ministry of Bulgaria. And next question, uh, that is very popular and is uh, asked, is uh, can you uh, have some influence on the foreign ministry decisions? No, we don't have any influence on the foreign ministry uh, uh, decisions at all. We can somehow ask them uh, for students, and we have done it many, many times, but they are not obliged to give us any information, even though uh, we strive to get information what's about our students, uh, documents, uh, what is wrong, what is right. Uh, sometimes they call us and uh, ask us uh, to to ask our students to give more details or documents but we we are not uh, so influent to to tell the foreign ministry uh, to issue visa to our applicants or not this is very important okay Okay, Nijati, next coffee is on me. <laughs> thanks, thanks to Nijati, because uh, it's not a question. Uh, next to our statements, and it's very positive. Thank you, Nijati. Bulgaria is next door to Turkey. It's a very friendly country. I believe the Turkish students will enjoy studying at your universities. It should be said by us, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And also, your tuition, uh, tuition and fees are affordable if we compare with the Turkish Foundation private universities. Then a question comes, with with applicants have to post the original documents at university? Again. Yeah, uh, originals are must, because we sent um, the originals to Ministry of Education. But if you don't want to uh, send us originals, you just have to make a notary certified copies uh, in the country where these documents have been issued. For example, I'm from Pakistan and I have secondary school in Pakistan. Okay, I have to make a notary certified copy in Pakistan and then send the documents. The documents for secondary school um, must be apostyled uh, anyway, in Turkey, but in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and so on, um, the the stamp is uh, put by the foreign ministry of this country, and by and after that, countersigned and verified by the embassy of Bulgaria in this country. In Turkey, it's uh, very easy. Uh, only a apostille uh, is put on uh, on these documents and they are sent to us. Okay, something very important. We will be always with you during your visa application. What does it mean? It means that you don't need, uh, of course, if you have, if you want, you can do it, but you don't need to go to agents for visa application. We are going to send you uh, 
information about the visa procedures, con the contacts of the embassy or consulates in uh, Republic of Turkey, uh, Bulgarian consulates and Bulgarian embassy in Turkey. We are going to send you a list with the documents needed for getting visa, uh, some advices, uh, so you don't uh, have to go to agencies uh, for studying at our university or for getting visa it will save you money and time believe me because we are very experienced and we know that many agents uh, because many agents call us to ask for the procedures um, there is no point to, to do it to say to to spend money for nothing you can uh, do it for you and furthermore when you come to our university uh, for example you have the visa you are uh, you come to study at our university, you have to be registered at Migration Office. Many of the, uh, many of the universities, um, they hire agencies and students pay for agencies, for agents to do with their to, uh, documents. We don't uh, practice this. Uh, we take uh, our students and go to Migration for free. Uh, for registration at Migration Office. So our services are for free. We don't pay uh, and we don't ask for commissions for accommodation, for registration, uh, migration office, for visa, uh, preparing documents, uh, for uh, health insurance. Uh, furthermore, we work with uh, many companies and they make for us uh, very good discounts in Bulgaria. Are there questions left? We have not seen another question, so thank you very much for being with us. If you have any questions, you can send us emails. You can get in touch with Evgeny, with me, with Docent Mirjanov. We will try to assist you. And we hope to see you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Evgeny, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Radan and Salvetonum, thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Uh, it was very informative for the students and uh, we received many questions and you covered all of them thank you again it was very nice to welcome you at the FT talk webinar thank you and <laughs> thank you. enjoy the evening and keep in touch <laughs> thank you very much again Biz de çok teşekkür ederiz Servet Hanım. Sizi ağırlamakta keyifli. Çok, çok teşekkürler. Görüşmek üzere. İyi akşamlar herkese. Bye.